Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to use MAC address filtering for printers. If you're struggling to get your printer connected to your wireless network and keep seeing messages about MAC address filtering, you're in the right place. Let's break down what MAC address filtering is and how you can use it to ensure your printer stays connected. First, let's understand what a MAC address is. It's a unique 12-character code assigned to every device that connects to the internet, including your printer. This code is in hexadecimal format, like 00-00000000000, and it's used to identify your device on the network. MAC address filtering is a way to control which devices can connect to your network. You can either allow specific MAC addresses to connect, whitelisting, or block them, blacklisting. Here's how you can use this feature for your printer. To add your printer's MAC address, you need to follow a few steps. First, find the MAC address of your printer. This is usually printed on the back or bottom of the device, or you can find it in the printer's settings menu. For example, on an HP printer, you might navigate to the wireless button and then to the network settings to find the MAC address. Next, log into your router's dashboard. You can do this by typing the default gateway URL into your web browser. For Windows users, open the command prompt, type ipconfig, and look for the default gateway. For Mac users, go to System Preferences Network, click on your connection, and then go to the Advanced TCP IP tab to find the default gateway. Once you're logged into your router, navigate to the Advanced Settings or Security section, where you'll find the MAC filtering options. Here you'll have the option to enable MAC filtering and add the MAC addresses of the devices you want to allow or block. To add your printer's MAC address, select the option to allow specific MAC addresses and add the printer's address to the list. Save the changes and ensure that the MAC filtering is enabled. Here's an example of how this works. If your router has MAC filtering enabled and you've added your printer's MAC address to the allowed list, only your printer and other devices on that list will be able to connect to the network. If you've mistakenly added a device to the blocked list, it won't be able to connect. However, it's important to note that MAC address filtering is not foolproof. Hackers can use tools to find valid MAC addresses and then spoof them to gain access to your network. So, while MAC address filtering adds an extra layer of security, it shouldn't be your only security measure. If you're having trouble getting your printer connected despite adding its MAC address, there are a few other things to check. Ensure that your router's settings are set to broadcast the SSID, use WPA or WPA2 encryption, and have DHCP enabled. Sometimes resetting the wireless settings on your printer or restarting your router can also resolve the issue. In summary, using MAC address filtering for your printer involves finding the printer's MAC address, logging into your router, enabling MAC filtering, and adding the printer's MAC address to the allowed list. This helps ensure that only authorized devices can connect to your network, enhancing your network security. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.